Hi everybody, we're gonna do a little bit of styling today. Um, this video will come off a little bit gushy about Fox Brothers, but you know, it's a wonderful mill based in the UK. And uh, what always impresses me about them is they just have this like very, very subtle understanding of color that I think just comes out so well in their cloth. Um, I wanna look at this. This is from Fall Winter 22 collection. It's model 11 sport coat. So that's our American style sport coat. No darts, patch and flat pockets. And this check is just amazing, right? Like it's like this lovely shade of cream off white with a forest green and then olive green and then navy and then slate blue check to it. You know, it's such a sophisticated combination of colors and I absolutely love it. Like I remember seeing the sample of this when we were putting the collection together a year ago and I just absolutely fell in love with it. Um, so how do you put something like this together? Let's have a look. Um, you know, one of the nice things about having a jacket that has a lot of colors in it is it can actually, rather than being very restricting, be very freeing because all you have to do is start picking up colors within the palette of the jacket and uh, you can put together something very good looking with things you probably already have. Okay, let's, I, I have so much stuff on the table, I apologize. Um, so let's start with something dressy. Um, first, with this sort of thing, uh, because the pattern is quite dense, but also it's somewhat muted, it looks really weird with patterned shirts that are high contrast. So like, I find that very strange, right? But I find this quite interesting. Like you see how much more muted this is compared to this. So I would be here and then it's a matter of finding the right accessories to um, kind, of, kind of add a, a bit of visual interest. Like if you want to go really dense with patterns, like that's really interesting. In fact, this really reminds me of Jean Krell. I feel like Jean Krell would put something like this together, okay? Um, but let's leave these two shirts aside for now and just have a look at what options could we do with this and let's say a white shirt, right? Okay, so there you go, your white shirt, button down collar is always nice with American style stuff. Um, I showed you that polka dot tie earlier. It's important to try and separate the scales, right? So like the polka dot has sufficient scale from the shepherd's check uh, to not kind of get too lost in it. Like it sits above all of that noise and in terms of color, navy is obviously great and it's picking up that navy check. But look at that, that's kind of interesting too. Like this slate blue, to pick up that slate blue there. Uh, if you want something a little fun, this is from Drake's collection this year, I love this. A little dog tie. Or if you don't want to be in the blues, you can go into the greens as well. This is super interesting. As is this. So forest green or a kind of tobacco brown. Or you can even do a solid like that. Just green grenadine, which with the navy, uh, sorry, with the white shirt, I think is a really nice combination. Now, what do you do for trousers here? Um, well, for trousers, I've prepared two things that I think are really good. Uh, I've got this. This was a, typically we do these made to order. We don't have these in stock, but you know, made to order comes pretty fast these days. Um, I'm about to drop everything. This is a pair of Ambrosi made to orders uh, in olive green. It's actually the olive that you find in the Holland and Sherry Chris Bear book. I really like this color. It's a really interesting shade of green. Like it's just green enough and just sort of yellow enough to sit really well with these kind of creamy colors. Um, so you could do that. And then, you know, just so it's not overwhelmed with too much yellow tones, like you have a navy tie there. Uh, in terms of shoes for something like this, I really like suede. I would do suede here, like that. This is the Armory's uh, Gloucester, which is our semi-brogue. Uh, other than green, of course you can do gray. Here's a gray trouser for your consideration. And with the gray trouser, I really like the idea of the brown with the gray trouser, like that. And then for that, I would use a, I'd use that, brown grain. I think these colors sit nicely together. If you wanna add 
if you're gonna build, if you're gonna layer, because um, obviously we're in winter, and uh, although Hong Kong is still bloody hot, um, many parts of the world are much cooler right now. You want to layer uh, for something like that. You know, you can continue to play with that like yellow and blue, yellow and blue, right? So a blue sleeveless cardigan like that with the white shirt with the brown tie. I think that sits really beautifully together. You can see the blue. But you know, other colors that work, um, this is why we do so many sleeveless cardigans in so many different colors, because they're always great for an accent. I think that's lovely. The olive. And even the olive with the brown, I don't mind that, because I love seeing that green with that olive. Or I would reverse that a little bit and do this camel color like that. So you got camel, camel gray, white, and then this multicolored sport coat. And I would put something a little bit more striking like that together, like navy with the red and burnt orange. And then you sort of see that burnt orange play off of this camel color as well. Okay, that's like a couple of formal ideas for you. What do you do if you wanna wear, wear it a little more casually? So bear with me while I try and put this away for a shotgun. Man, I really miss doing these videos. Like it's been so long since I've done them and I've just been on the road so much. Okay. So the basis of any casual option for me at the Armory is always starting with our sport chinos. Like I just, I just think the sport chinos are great. Um, they're washable. They come in all the right colors. Uh, I'm gonna lay a couple out here for you to see. I love the blue cotton with this. Oops. And you see how nicely like that blue cotton sits with this cream. Like what's really interesting is like, the minute you put the blue cotton with this, the jacket feels a lot bluer because your eye is sort of becomes more, it's almost like your eye becomes more sensitive to the blue tones in the jacket rather than the yellow tones. Um, for what you could put on top of that, like if you're really trying to be casual, I love the idea of a cream sweatshirt like that, a little bit brighter than the jacket itself, and a pair of sneakers like that. This is our Moonstar cream canvas sneaker. It's one of my favorite sneakers although I think it might be out of stock. <laughs> um, that's one option. Uh, you could also do, let's say, white polo shirt, like that. And then olive trouser, but a paler olive. This, our sports chino olive is a little bit lighter in color. I really like that together. I think that's super cool. And then, you know, again with the sneakers, which I think is good. Well, finally, I want to show you something kind of interesting. Uh, so let's say we have the khaki like this, right? So the khaki there. And then I like the idea of this like really dark gray with it as well. Like it's a little unexpected in a good way. And then I would go back to brown suede for something like this. It doesn't have to be an Oxford. It could be a loafer as well. All right, um, so there you go. A couple of different ways to put together this lovely sport coat. Um, like I said, multicolored sport coats, the nice thing is because you have so many colors at your disposal, it actually sits very well with many, many things that you might already have in your wardrobe. Um, check it out, it's on our website, it's in our stores. Uh, it's the Model 11 sport coat using Fox Brothers cloth. That's it for now and thanks for watching.